Double or triple glazing? Which one's right? The short answer is, unfortunately, it depends on your requirements and your circumstances. First thing to think about is thermal insulation. How warm is it going to be? And the short answer is that triple glazing is a little bit warmer than double glazing, but not a great deal. So for context, the jump between single and double glazing is huge. Double glazing is much, much warmer than single glazing, but a much smaller jump from double to triple. Um, to give it numbers, um, insulation value, the warmth of a glass or anything is measured in a U value, and the lower the U value, the better insulator it is, so the warmer it is. Glass has got a U value of 5.8, so you kind of use that as your benchmark, not very good. Um, top double glazing has got a U value of about 1.0, and the top triple glazing has got a U value of about 0.5, so you can see the differences. So what does that mean in terms of warmth? Well, in many cases, not a great deal of difference. Um, where you may feel a difference is if you've got large expanses of glass or a lot of windows, or it's a particularly cold or exposed part of the house, or if it's a room that you spend a lot of time and you're close to windows, then you probably will feel a difference there. Um, and you'll notice the difference in the surface temperature of the glass um, in the triple glazing will be slightly warmer. If by contrast you don't spend a great deal of time there or there's small windows um, or you're not in close proximity to them, chances are you're not going to feel a great deal of difference. The U value can sometimes be important, for example, if it's a new build or it's a whole house development and you're looking to achieve an overall insulation value for the whole house. And in that instance, sometimes it can be a make or break and you'll need to achieve a certain U value with the windows just to achieve the overall value. And there you can be sort of chasing 0.1 of a U value to make it work. So that can sometimes mean that you have to use triple glazing. What about cost of it? So triple glazing is slightly more expensive but not a great deal more. So typically it's adding up to 10% onto the cost of a window. It's not a great deal more. Are you going to recoup that cost in terms of savings made in your heating bills? Well, the short answer is probably yes, but over a long period of time and it, it's unlikely to have much of an impact. It's certainly not an overriding decision maker. What about security then? How easy is it to break through? Well, on the face of it, three pieces of glass, harder to break through than two pieces of glass. It's sort of true, but it's misleading really. There are far more efficient ways of improving security, whether it's double or triple glazing, by upgrading the glass to either a toughened or a laminated glass. And, and if you do that, then you've got equal security, whether it's double or triple glazed. What about sound, acoustic performance? And again, you want to cut down noise. So it's similar to the security issue in that if, just on the face of it, if you took three skins of glass versus two skins of glass, the three will give you better sound insulation. But similarly, if that is an important factor, then there's a far more efficient way of achieving sound reduction by selecting a certain sound reducing glass, by selecting acoustic glazing. Now the acoustic glass can be put into either a double or a triple glazed unit, and both of those units will have a similar sound insulation value, they'll be equally efficient. So again, it's not a reason to choose triple over double. What about the aesthetics then? The look of it. So what's the difference? Well, clearly the difference is the thickness of the unit. So this is a standard double glaze unit, it's 24 millimetres thick. Compare it to this triple glaze unit, which is 36 millimetres thick. So you've basically got a lot of extra thickness there with a the triple glazed unit. Now, in many cases, that's of no impact whatsoever, it doesn't matter. And it's simply a matter of personal opinion. For some people, they don't like to see that thickness of unit and therefore reducing it you know, is an important factor. And for many people and in many situations, it's of no impact whatsoever. So where this can have more of an impact is in older traditional historic buildings where you're looking to kind of maintain a traditional look to the building and putting in thick triple glazed units that are you know, quite obviously thick, now that can have more of an impact. So where would you use triple glazing? Well, if it's a new build or it's a whole house redevelopment where you're looking for particularly good thermal insulation, then yes, triple glazing can be, can be the way to go. So it should be said though that a good double glazing will easily achieve and exceed standard building regulations for thermal performance. So you don't need triple glazing to achieve building regulations. It's only if your building is looking to achieve better than average thermal performance. So 
Another place that it might be a good idea, for example, as we said, is if you've got a particularly cold or exposed environment, big glazed areas, and it's an area that you spend a lot of time in. Say, for example, you had an office that you spend a lot of time close to a window. Those might be areas where you'd notice the difference with triple glazing. So where is double glazing a good choice? Well, if it's new build or a whole house redevelopment, where you're just looking to achieve standard building regulation requirements. As I say, a double glazing will even exceed those. If, you're, if it's an older property and you're replacing windows and the chances are that the thermal performance in the rest of the house, the walls, the ceiling may not be great, then, then really it's of not, no particular value to fit triple glazing. And similarly, if it's an older or historic property and you want to maintain that traditional aesthetic to the, to the windows, then double glazing offers a better, better solution. So hopefully that sums up. There isn't a clear cut answer. It's about the individual circumstances, about your requirements and your preferences.